Greetings and salutations, you guys. Here and here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We are at the Veterans Thrift Today in Pomona, California. I'm really excited to take you guys into the store. Let's go inside and check it out. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, and all that fun stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. Oh, and join me during the live sales. I have two every week. Uh, I think for the rent for the rest of uh the month of september they're every thursday at 8 p.m and then saturday at 10 p.m pacific time i will do pop-up sales as well but i'll schedule those 24 to 40 hours in advance so just don't forget to turn on those notifications so you'll be notified or follow me on instagram and our discord group because i'll let you guys know on there as well if i have any pop-up sales in advance but with that being said let's go into the store and see what we can find Oh, also, if you can't join one of the live sales, you can always watch the replays as well. I keep those up so you can shop from them and check them out as well. So check the description boxes of those videos. The pricing availability and all that stuff will be in there for you guys. And then you can send me an email or a DM if you're interested in anything or have any further questions. Alrighty, here we are. Look at those palm trees. Looking gorgeous. But here is the thrift store. Okay, we are inside. And Imano, never heard of that one. Um, that's not a real Burberry. Leather. Simply Basic. Victoria's Secret. Massimo. Sam Edelman. Do you guys like Sam Edelman bags? Let me know. Cause I'll pick them up if I see them. Oh, that's from Miniso. I love Miniso. PCBG. Aren't too many bags today. Gallucci? This a Kate Spade? No. Stone Mountain. Ooh, what's this? This is soft. This is like a Kuba or Bakke or something. Oh no, Mark New York. Rebecca Minkoff. So I found this little Vera Bradley wallet. It's five bucks. It's brand new. So I'll get this. And then let's see if there's anything here. Oh, there's a coach right here. This one's 30 bucks though. That's an older style. Mm. I've seen this case made before. This strap is broken. It actually finally broke off. It was hanging on by a literal thread before. All right. Well, so far we got this. These Skechers. I don't know what that is, but I know it's like a brand or like a collaboration. I mean, um, oh. They did like the Louis Vuitton on the Nike. That's funny. Okay, St. Laurent. Don't know if they're real though. You guys, I just found an Ugg bag. Oh, it's so furry. And oh, it's like a hand muff too or something, I think. It's like a two-in-one. Oh, it's 40 bucks though, that's expensive. Okay, if this goes on sale and it's still here, I think I'll get it, but. Let's see what other bags. Oh, look at this little Kipling. Uh, 15 bucks though. What's its name? Lori is the monkey's name. Cute. Oh, there's a Toomey thing right here. What's this? Oh, this is one of those, like, uh, for, what's it called? Like you can fold, like, suits and dresses or something. Oh, yeah, it's like a garment bag style. That's kind of cool. 
That's 25 bucks. Okay, I was just looking at like the home goods and plates and mugs and stuff. Didn't really spot anything too exciting. Um, this is actually a really pretty color though. Is that for like a chip and dip? I don't know what that's for. Let me know if I'm right. <laughs> I have no clue. Century Japan and all right let's go check out the rest of the store hey guys i'm sorry i haven't been filming i had to grab a cart too because i had so much stuff but i just found this blouse it's a jw anderson and it's not like a unique look piece it's like a regular jw anderson it's only seven dollars it needs a good wash though but i mean it's white there's a stain down there too but i think i mean it's white you can bleach it right then Check out these Kate Spades, $25. Not bad, right? Okay, so these are cute. But check these out, okay. Um, first of all, are these ugly? I think they're just like nice and classic. Like they don't have to scream Prada, you know? They're Prada, but like understated. And the leather feels so soft. Uh, these are 60 bucks. They're in pretty good shape. I feel like they just need a good cleaning. Maybe a little color touch up, but like look how good those are. And these are a size 39. They might even fit mom. I think she might even wear these, maybe. But look at that. They're just like cute classic, you know, every day. But check these out. I found two of these. They're the same shoe. These are Louboutins. Is that crazy? Size 40. One's 30, one's 40. Is that nuts? Gold and black? Yes. Okay. Amazing. And then these Celines. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? These Celine heels? These are a size 39, I think. 20 bucks. Green suede. This is like the color of the like color of fall, winter. Gorgeous, stunning. All right, you guys. I just got back to the house and I got so much stuff. Okay, so let's jump into what we got because we got some good stuff. Okay, uh, let's start off. Let's start off with the bags since I feel like I never start off with bags first. Uh, first thing I did get that the Tumi luggage. And this is, it's like one of the, I knew what it was called earlier. Um, oh, a garment. It's like a garment bag. So it like clip, head clips. It snaps up at the top and then you open it up and voila, garment bag. And it even has like the, this is like the thing that connects like on the door of your like room or whatever, wherever you put it. Um, and then it just clips. The only thing is it is missing the crossbody strap uh, i'm gonna see if i have a crossbody strap i include i can like include with this otherwise like you can really use any strap you can buy like a nylon one on amazon and then you'll be good to go just like get a black one it still does have the little luggage tag thing on here um does it have yeah it doesn't have anyone's info in it uh this one was 25 dollars and i went ahead and picked it up these garment bags from to me are really expensive they're like hundreds of dollars so i picked it up it's in pretty good condition too it's just like it was a little dusty because it was on the floor but yeah it looks really good it even has like the little thing underneath here uh so you can actually like put it through your luggage and it actually has like two little openings right here so you can still put stuff inside what's cool is that like there's like a whole compartment in here and there's like a, this pocket right here and this is the part that goes through so you can still keep stuff inside here without it falling out even when you're using the luggage thing and then it's kind of just open across the top right here where the handle comes out so i don't know it's not everything really really great um yeah i'll probably be selling that in one of the live sales so if you guys want to join the live sales again like i said definitely check out um my videos i have them all scheduled but like I said, they're every um, Thursday and Saturday of, for the rest of the month. Thursdays at 8, Saturdays at 10, and that's Pacific time. Then I got this Rebecca Minkoff satchel. It's in uh, like a tan, beigey snake skin, and then black leather. This is like an embossed snake. And then it has gold hardware. I also got the little wallet right here too. This is the Vera Wang wallet. So cute. This was $4.99. And then this uh, this bag was it was I think it was like half off so it was like twenty five dollars and yeah 
I mean, these, these Rebecca Minkoff bags are pretty expensive, and this one's a good one. It's a good size. It's just a little dirty on the inside. There's like a little bit of darkening right there by where the zipper is. Otherwise, the bag is in pretty good shape. Really excited. I like the color combo too. And with fall literally around the corner, I think it'll be a good fall bag. And then um, I got this wallet. It's just a little um, Vera Bradley. Did I see Vera Wang? Vera Bradley wallet in like a black, white, and kind of like a purple print. Uh, yeah, there's like a little bit of like a weird yellowing right there. And I don't know if that's... Sometimes it could be like glue that they use to make these items. But... I honestly have no clue. It still has a tag attached. It has this cute little kiss lock pocket right there. Zipper pocket right up here. And it even has a little key thing. So you can put your keys inside of here as well. So I picked it up. Thought it was cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to... I might give it to my aunt because she really likes Fear Bradley. So this actually might go to her. But yeah. Fun little wallet. This retails for $26.00. And I got it for, how much was it? Like a, for five bucks. Not bad, right? Cute little wallet. Then, let me show you guys the clothing that I got. I did get, I think I showed you, oh, I don't know if I showed it to you. I was looking for shirts for Elizo because uh, the previous times I was there, I picked up shirts for Zach and Cade and I totally didn't pick up anything for Elizo because I didn't see anything in his size. But then this time I found like, only stuff in Elizo's size, so it's perfect. And that's already like in the wash so that Elizo can wear them already. But I did also find these Lululemon shorts. These are only $7. And these are the older style um, of the Lululemon shorts. Um, cause I don't think they use like these aglets anymore or whatever on the ends of the little, um, drawstring. But yeah, they're just great shorts. Um, I actually have this, these same ones in a different print that I thrifted a while back. So yeah, I mean, little lemon shorts are really expensive and for seven bucks, I'm not going to say no. So I got these guys, got to throw these in the wash as well. And, oh, the other thing that I got... Now this one is really cool because he's like one of my favorite designers. I found this Jonathan Anderson uh, blouse. It's like a white cotton blouse. And then it has these like cool like little connector things on the sleeves. And then it has a little tie in the back as well. And yeah, it's just like, really cute. I like the sleeves. It's fun. This is only $7 as well. And the little Jonathan Anderson tag is right there. Uh, I was like, at first I was like, ooh, maybe it's like one of the Jonathan Anderson collabs from Uniqlo. But nope, it's actually just full on Jonathan Anderson. So I'm very excited. This is my first time finding anything Jonathan Adler or Jonathan Anderson at the thrift. So I can check that off my bucket list. This is, oh, I was trying to look for the size. Where's the tag? It was, I was just looking up. Oh, there it is. Uh, this is a size U.S. size 6. So I'm going to say it's like a, like a small medium, right? And it is... Oh, it's 95% cotton and it's 5% polyurethane. And I think the polyurethane is probably in this part. But I don't know. Anyway, so I got that. Great price for this blouse. It's beautiful. It did have like a little stain down here. Uh, I'm going to ask mom how she thinks we can get it out. She can get any stain out. She's amazing. And yeah, so we're going to wash that up and then it'll be for sale in one of the lives. Then I, oh, I got this really cute strap. Uh, let me actually open it up. This was $5. And yeah, I didn't think it was leather when I was looking at it, but it's so cute. It's, um, so this is a, it's essentially plastic, but it's like a vegan leather. And look at the flowers. I thought they were so cute though. It's a cute strap. It's like a guitar strap in black and it has silver hardware and it just has the flowers on both sides. I thought this was so stinking cute. It reminds me of the, I think it's Fendi that makes straps uh, very similar to this. But I think a lot of brands make these straps now too. So I thought this was really, really fun. It's in like a cream, red, blue, and black. And then the strap is all just black and then again, silver hardware. So I've got that. Pretty excited to find that in the kind of miscellaneous section. And then now we have the best things that I found today. 
So I'll start off with these beautiful Kate Spade espadrilles. And they're in a nude pink color. So, so fun. I love like the little ruffles in the front. Um, they, the straps go around your ankles. These were $25, but they're in like new condition. Like look at the bottoms. Like I feel like they've almost never been worn. Um, or if they have just a little bit, um, there is a little bit of like rubbing right here on the insoles, but I feel like they're such good shape still. And the espadrille, like the cork parts, great shape. So, plus who doesn't love like a platform espadrille? I hear they're really comfy to walk in. And yeah, mom was like kind of sad because they're too small for her. Um, these are a size 30, oh, these are size 7. So, size 7 sandal. And what's crazy is I didn't find just one, but I found two of these sandals. And they are... Louboutin, which is nuts. I feel like I got really lucky in the shoe department today. I found two of these, right? I'll show you guys the gold ones first. So they're kind of like, they're essentially gladiator sandals. And this is in gold. These are a size 40, but they fit like a size eight and a half because these fit my mom. So they fit her perfectly. Uh, she would keep them, except she does not like any like strappy things around her ankles and they're just a little too flat for her. She always likes a little height, you know, uh, but they are in, ugh, they're so cute. The gold ones are in pretty good shape. Um, there's a little bit of like color loss. I think I have a paint that matches this. So I might actually try to paint this up and just like get it looking gorgeous again. But I mean, even just as is, they're in really great shape. Um, these are only $30. So like a deal. Um, but yeah, beautiful little gladiator sandal. Actually, I need to take off this sensor right here. I don't want it to ruin the leather. <gasps> ah, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Okay. Yeah, these things always stress me out. Yeah. Let me actually take off the stickers, too. The stickers always stress me out on the insole. Sometimes it's either like they leave, a, they leave like an annoying sticky residue or it just peels off some of that leather and that is never good. So I always try to peel it off as soon as possible. All right, got that one off. And I can't, like, like I said, I can't believe I found two pairs of them. I mean, if you love something, you buy it in multiple colors, right? And then when you're done with them, you also just donate all of them. But I'm really excited because normally when I find Louboutins at the store, I feel like they're usually, um, a tiny size. I've never found them before. Wait, no, actually I lie. Just kidding. I have found them before in this size because I already gave them to mom. But I feel like it's more rare to find them in this size for me at least. I usually find them in a much smaller size. Um, anywhere between like a 5 and a 7. So finding these was awesome. Anyway, I'm not going to take off the stickers on these other ones with you guys on camera. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. It took up a lot of time. But again, the black ones. The black ones are actually in better condition. They don't have as much wear on the leather, if any at all. And bottoms like that. These were a little bit more expensive. These were 40 bucks. But yeah, again, same sandal, same size. Beautiful. So these are a size eight and a half. And then these are, are my favorite, favorite shoes that I found today. And I cannot believe it. Oh, wait, let me, let me at least buckle one of them so you get like the full effect. But these sandals are amazing. So these are green suede Celine heels. Let me just show you one so I can show you really nice. Like, like look at that heel. That is a beautiful heel. It's stunning. Um, these fit like a size 9, according to my mom. And they are a size 40. Ah, uh, these little stickers always stress me out. Especially because the base of this... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes. So these are size 40. Celine. It's the Celine with the accent on it. So it's like that good vintage Celine, you know? So I'm really excited. I actually have another pair of Celine shoes that I just got recently too. And I got it at a consignment store. And the other ones I got were also like 
the Celine with the accent over the E. And it's called like Old Celine, right? Like there's like an Instagram page called Old Celine dedicated to the beauty of Old Celine. And these are just stunning. Uh, everything about it, the gold hardware and the green suede, even the heel height is good. I think it's about, I actually have my measuring tape right here somewhere. Um, or am I lying? Do I not? Oh, here it is. Literally right in front of me. And the heel height is... Okay, it's about 4 inches. So 4 inch heel height. My mom said it was pretty comfortable, like that heel height. Like, I thought... She, she thought the, they were 3 inches for some reason, but they're 4. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful heels. Um, it looks like there was some sort of sticker thing right here. Which kind of like is so sad. Um... And essentially, it might have been one of those things that you put into the shoe, like one of those like pads to help your foot like stay in the shoe so it doesn't slide, which is what I think was on there from like the original owner. I feel like that's what it is because my mom just bought some recently too. Um, so we're going to see how much of this we can remove, like the sticky stuff. Like I think the stuff on the leather will come off pretty easily, but... The stuff that's on the suede is a whole other story that might be a little bit more... It might prove to be a little bit more difficult, but we will see. But these were only $20. Like, amazing. Celine heels for 20 bucks, And these are beautiful. I feel like these are so, like, current, too. Like, this is, like, the style right now. Especially this color, I feel like, is so popular right now, too. So I'm just really excited about these heels. And someone is going to love them. They are beautiful. They're going to be... These are, like, great holiday shoes, too, especially with all the holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, like, New Year's, like, all, like all the events, family gatherings, Friendsgivings, whatever. These are it. These are beautiful shoes. And that is going to round out today's a uh, little thrift trip. I hope you guys had fun checking out what I got. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That always does help the channel immensely. Don't forget to join one of the live sales as well. They're super duper fun. I do giveaways each night as well. They're free to join, free to enter. You just gotta be there. Also, tune in tomorrow for a new video at 7 a.m. I still post videos every single day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.